Hello everybody and welcome back to Ocean WP tutorial videos. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to perform a WP reset as well as going over the pros and cons of doing it. Stay tuned. So basically for those of you that don't know what a WP reset is, it sets the, it's a reset that sets the WordPress database back to its initial state. So it gets rid of everything that you've uploaded, um, any media, any content, any pages, any posts, all of that, all your plugins. Now, this is generally, you know, a, a way to do things if you want to start fresh. There, there really shouldn't be another reason as to why you want to perform a WP reset or a database reset unless you're wanting to start fresh with a fresh WordPress install. Now, there might be a few, you know, um, reasons as to why you want to do this. You might be a developer or a designer who is now building a new website for a, an existing company and they want to, you know, kind of start from scratch, build up a new website from scratch um, and, and it's already an existing WordPress site. So basically what you want to do is if the customer is happy with that and they want to get rid of everything, then you, 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 you perform a WP, a WordPress reset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys how to perform that. Um, we're going to go back to uh, my, give me one second. I'm just going to open up my site. There we go. So this is my dashboard. You can see that I've already installed an Ocean WP theme. Um, this is one of the demos, the live demos. And what we're going to do is we're going to pretend that this is a live site and we're just going to perform a reset. And that's going to get rid of every single thing, database, plugins, media, all of it, pages, posts, menus, all of that's going to go away. So I'm just going to go back to the dashboard. And there are multiple ways to do this. Um, you can do it manually by deleting the files from the cPanel and uploading a fresh install of WordPress. That is one way, but there is a much simpler way to do it. And that's making use of a plugin called WP Resets. I'm going to add a new plugin. And I'm going to type WP reset. There we go. Uh, this top one over here, WP reset, most advanced reset tool for WordPress. I'm just going to install that. It's got over 300,000 active installations. I'm going to activate that. Brilliant. Okay, so now I'm just going to go to the tool section over here. So this is the free version. In the free version, what you can do is you can delete uh, the database and in the pro version, you can delete the database and then reinstall the active theme. But we're not going to do that. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to re... No, I don't want to reactivate. Okay, to your mind. Um, okay, just going to type in reset. What this is going to do is it's going to delete everything within our database. So reset that. Just give it a few seconds. Brilliant. Now, obviously, if the site's a lot bigger, it'll take a bit longer to reset. But if you open up the, the site again, you can see that it's gotten rid of the theme. There are no more pages. There's nothing there uh, besides the default WordPress pages, such as the privacy policy and the sample page, as well as the plugins. They've deactivated all of the plugins. So you can just activate those again. There is also a section where it allows you to reinstall the theme. Um, so there we go. That's basically how you do it. There are other multiple, there are multiple ways to do it. And if you, if this is not the way that you want to do it and you actually want to do it manually, then head over to ocean WP, um, their blog section and search in how to reset a WordPress website. There was a really good article in here that explains how to do it on the, you know, making use of the, um, database within the C panel and so on and so forth. So that's if you want to do that. But the easiest way, in my opinion, is just to download the plugin, do it, go through the options. And if you want to have more, you know, um, options available to you, have a look at getting the pro version of that. Um, and anyways, there we go. Thanks, guys.